Brienne de Saulniers may not be a familiar name to us, but what about Brie Larson? Larson is an actress, singer, and director who always knew she wanted to work in the entertainment business. Thanks, Roadkill Easy Bake Oven! Though she's known for her Oscar-winning performance in Room, Larson has had quite a history in acting and singing that many aren't familiar with. She worked hard to be where she is today, so let's take a look at her stunning transformation into the fabulous Brie Larson. Breakout Brie Larson knew she wanted to be in the entertainment business since she was a little girl. In a 2004 interview with Scholastic, she shared that she told her mom she wanted to act when she was very young. Though she was very shy, her mom put her in acting classes for a year, and that was when Larson started to shine. And even at 15 years old, the young starlet knew she had big plans for herself, saying, One of my goals is to get every kind of award possible. Golden Globe, Oscar, Grammy, you name it. There's only one other person that's done it, and I want to be the second. Pop star Though she's known for her work as an actress, Larson also started her entertainment career in music. She released her debut album in 2005, and even as a teen, Larson saw the tough part of being in the industry. During an interview with Kids World, she discussed the difficulties she faced, from the focus on her image to comments about her being too bright, saying, The one that really bugs me is that I'm told I'm too smart to make it in this industry. It can be hard sometimes to hear stuff like that. With all of that talent and wit, we have no doubt Larson could still pick up a guitar and make a bid for the Grammys. Perfectionist As she continued to gain recognition, Larson was still seeking perfection in her work. Around the age of 18, she described this side of herself in an interview with Stylus Magazine, saying, My experiences haven't shaped me all for the good. I'm much more hard on myself when I write, but I strive for perfection. Larson didn't just want brilliance in her music, but in the legacy she hoped to leave. During an interview with The Glam Guide, she described her goal for her future, and it may not be quite what you'd expect. I know it's a weird answer, but I was at the post office and saw all the people who had stamps, Elvis Presley and Mother Teresa. Everyone changed the world in some way through music, movies, or even charity. I think it would be awesome to have a stamp because you know you did something to change the world and change people's opinion or mind. Missing Prom In 2012, Larson took on a big role in the film remake of 21 Jump Street, it was a role that gave Larson even more notice and reinforced the fact that all of her hard work was worth it. As she was starring in a movie about high school, it was common for Larson to be asked about her own experience during interviews. Having been homeschooled, the then 22-year-old never had the classic high school experience. She talked about it in an interview, saying, I never thought that I missed out on anything. I never really wanted any of that. I wasn't interested in going to the school dances. I wasn't interested in going to the football games. What I wanted was to be in my room painting my walls and doing weird stuff. No sellout. Larson keeps it real when it comes to the less glamorous side of Hollywood. In 2013, the then 24-year-old opened up to The Guardian, I have no problem talking about how hard it's been, how broke I've been, and how broke I was not even that long ago. I was freaking out around this time last year because I thought, this is it. I've really screwed myself because I did three independent films. I didn't do anything for money and now I don't have anything. I was eBaying stuff for Christmas presents. Even though that nerve-wracking feeling can be overwhelming, Larson made it very clear she would not take on a role just because of the money. So what goes through her mind during these tough times? She explained, I won't do things for money. I can't. That means some really frugal years, but I don't have kids and I'm fine eating cereal if that's what it takes. Giving it all. 2015 was a big year for Larson. That's the year Room came out, which the actress starred in and would later win an Academy Award for. In this intense role, Larson completely put herself into the space of her character's mind. The actress spoke with NPR about this process, explaining how she trained her brain in certain ways. For instance, with Room, as I was prepping in those eight months, things like my wrist had to be sore. And so I started wiring my brain to think that my wrist was sore, so that by the time we started shooting, I didn't have to remember, oh, my wrist is sore, I can't do that. I just almost felt it like a phantom pain in my wrist. This star has a dedication to her work, and it's easy to see just how passionate she is about it. And I realized that that was me letting go of a seven-year-old. That's me letting go of my inner child, and letting go of that girl and not knowing if I'm gonna get it back. Loud and clear. Larson is known for her honesty, and sometimes her face reveals what her mouth doesn't say. At the 2017 Oscars, fans and press noticed her less-than-thrilled reaction to Casey Affleck's win as she awkwardly presented his Academy Award for Best Actor. Affleck was previously accused by two women of sexual harassment. 
Her silence didn't last long. In an interview with Jane Fonda for net a Larson talked about the deep impact of playing two characters who were abused. She explained, It can get wild out there when you start speaking up, especially on social media. I've been getting a lot of backlash recently. I'd put it all on the line and be an activist for the rest of my life because it doesn't feel right to me to be quiet. Still Grounded For most of her career, Brie Larson has explained that she tries to stay away from the spotlight. Larson shared this thought with Vulture in 2014. At 24 years old, the actress was not interested in the fashion and glam that came with her fame and recognition. If anything, it made her uncomfortable. While doing interviews for 2015's Room, she again addressed this pressure from the industry, saying, I can't help but trip out about how similar my life is to Room. It's me wanting to stay in my own little bubble and remain anonymous and invisible, and at the same time, needing to step up to this hand that I've been given. The more attention she gets, the more clear it becomes that Larson is a star who loves her craft for what it is and, refreshingly, works to avoid getting caught up in the flashy side of the business. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.